Well, John, you always do bring sunshine to my life. I'm sorry about your father. I'd like to say he died doing what he loved. But he never was one for eating folks, not slathering from the lips and howling at the moon. I guess I'll content myself with saying that he died protecting those he loved. Indeed. Well. Take care of yourself, Bonnie. You too, John. Time. None of us have got much right now. Come on, quick. Thank you enough. What are you doing out here anyway? Ain't you seen what's going on? <laughs> I knew it! No!
Times ain't good, lady. Damn this godforsaken shithole! That about sums up my luck recently. Sorry, lady. Damn this shit! That's unfortunate. Yuck. Damn this godforsaken shithole! My day. You're joking. At least 
best you can do after trying to eat me. Thank you. Just what I needed. A choice. Hello, John. Welcome to paradise. Hello, Marshal. <laughs> Might have known you'd survive. What's going on? Do I look like I commune with the undead? Well, no. Well, then how would I know? My job is to take care of the folk who live here. Oh, you <laughs> heard that one. How's that going? How's that going? Well, let me put it to you this way. Cattle rustling and bank robbery are at an all-time low. But murder, blood drinking, and psychotic episodes seem to be somewhat prevalent. Either that, or I'm dreaming. That's what I'm hoping, too. How was it getting in here? It was crazy. Oh, they must be hiding again. They come in and... And just disappear. Town's been nearly overrun a couple of times. Now we're low on ammunition, and I'm two men down. I'll help you clear the place out if you like. You're a good man, John Marston. But before that, I'm gonna need my deputies back. What happened to them two clowns you had before? Gone? Maybe. 
I sent Jonah off to look for Eli. They've both been gone for several hours now. Who'd want to eat one of them? <laughs> That's a good question. Where'd you send them? Out near the general store. Jonah's got one of these new guns. I'm sure he can't run into any trouble. These things, they'd stop an elephant. Thank you. No, thank you. I'm sure you got your own troubles. Hey, mister. Hey, pard. You seen a couple deputies nearby? Marshall's boys, Jonah and Eli. Are they Jews, mister? They sound like Jews. I don't know. Why? Why? <laughs> this whole thing is nothing but a Jewish plot. You do know that, don't you? I find that highly unlikely, amigo. Well, I don't like Jews. Or colored folk. Or natives, now that you mention it. Well... You're a nice, kind-hearted man to meet in a time of trouble. Kind does not come into it. Why? What are you talking about? Why? I bet you like Catholics. I can't stand them neither. Nor women. Fabians, socialists, homosexuals, Asians, or British. Between them, they ruined this country. Ruined it! It was a good country once! Now people are eating each other, and it's all the fault of the Jewish, British, Catholic, homosexual elite and their ideas. Well, I, for one, won't stand for it. Have you ever met a Jewish person? <laughs> Thankfully not. Or a uh, British, Catholic, homosexual? Not in my store. Oh, I, I get it. I see you acting clever. Well, let me tell you this. The Jews killed Lincoln. That's why there is a triangle on the money. And they run Europe like one of them Arabian harems. Now they've sent this here plague to kill all us decent folk. Yep. You, sir, are truly a remarkable fella. Thank you kindly. I must say, it's a rare pleasure to meet someone with such a grasp on human history. You take care of yourself. I'd hate to see you get savaged by someone and watch the life force drain from your hate-filled body. Hey, hold on there. Why don't you join me in my fight, sir? It's not too late. I fear it is for me. Then I will fight them alone. All of them. America is the land of the free. And that means free to people like me, Herbert Moon. Absolutely. Oh, oh, no, no! You no. can't eat me! I'm Herbert This will come in useful. Abigail, Jack, the things I'd do for you. Somebody get this thing off of me! God you're taking my medicine! Please! Who wants me next? You came along when you did, mister, or I'd have been feeding on you right now. We gotta stick together if we're gonna survive this thing. I miss the fresh corpses.
boys. Marshal sent me and needs some help. Guess you got other plans. Seriously, enjoy your meal, no problem. Easy now, gentlemen. Remember all the fun times we had? You never did have a brain between you. Times, fellas. That's all you've got for me? Seth, I'm sorry about all the insults. John. Hello, Marshal. So, you find the boys? I found them. I understand. I hope it was fast for them. It was fast. And they died with their bellies full. Well, one of them did. Good. That there's Jonah's gun. Here, you keep it. After all, you earned it. Thank you. Take care of yourself, John. You too, Marshal. I must be dreaming. What am I doing here? You're mine now. Freaking nature. Deranged creature. God damn it. Sick animal. Foul creature of the night. Ah! Get myself into this. 
Just after the plague hit town, you know. My brother comes home shot up real bad. Why are you telling me? Damn! You drastic times call for drastic measures.
Just what I needed. Somebody's out there. He ain't one of them. Open the gate. Howdy, mister. Howdy. You're gonna be okay. Step right up! Step right up! Don't be shy now. Don't be shy. Nature confounds us, but science saves us. That's the truth, sir. That's the truth. West Dickens, 
patented tonic. The only 100% original, 200% guaranteed cure against the undead stalking this earth. It not only brings health and fitness to the sick and needy, it repels the undead and saves souls! Why, it's a natural miracle! And it's available now, here, at the low, low price of only 100 solid gold coins! That sounds expensive, but what price eternal damnation! <laughs> you, sir! You look healthy. Would you like to give it a try? Me, sir? Yes, sir. Would you care to demonstrate the undead defeating possibilities of this patented elixir? No, sir, I would not. What I would like is for you to stop peddling this nonsense right now. 100 gold coins? Well, what price would you pay for survival? You tell me, Mr. West Dickens. You tell me. Well, since you put it that way, um, uh, why don't all you chaps all take one for free now? And uh, if you like it, when you like it, uh, you'll know where to find me. Uh, you won't find any undead around me. <laughs> take it, enjoy. <laughs> Thanks a lot, John. These people have lost their families. They've lost everything. Well, that's not my fault. I'm just trying to make an honest living here. No, you're not. Well, uh, okay, but can I help it if demand is high? High? I'm offering the people hope, John. That's a precious commodity. The tonic really works. <laughs> These poor, awful, undead creatures can't stand it. <laughs> Come here. Take a look. Works like a charm. Uh, well, it wasn't quite what I expected. Stuff is like catnip to those bastards. Uh, well, I'm, I'm, I need more desert sage and uh, violet snowdrop, and then I know I can cure this foul plague. Okay. Back to doing your dirty work, am I? Yeah, don't be like that. Don't you remember the good times? Please? I'm an old man! All right. Here. Take it. Maybe you can use it to attract some of them. <sighs> okay. I'll see what I can do. And thanks. I'm sure this will come in real handy in case I want to meet some new and interesting friends. <clears throat> mm. Interesting. Let's go. 
Easy. 